So here I am, Rajshmani, with this young guy by the name of Ayush, and his uh, and his podcast name is Podex. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Let's just see how this goes today. Okay, so I have a huge introduction lined up before we start off. Our guest for today is a passionate entrepreneur who is devoted towards the betterment of society and is honing his skills and constructing his conscious to learn from the best and to connect with and direct the immatures on a prosperous path. And this is just the beginning for him. Only 23 years old, he has achieved great heights in his career. He's one of the youngest Indians to speak at the United Nations Assembly at Vienna. He even worked with AIESEC to encourage young students to explore the work, to experience the workforce and gain knowledge through internships. He has delivered TEDx talks at some prestigious institutions. He has spoken to 1 million people all over the globe and is voted among the top five young influencers in India by your story. He has given more than 200 speeches across 26 countries, including four TED Talks. He is the founder and CEO of Shamani Industries. His name is Raj Shamani. So Raj, thank you so much for being a part of this. This means a lot. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thanks for being kind with all those words. Even I don't remember that, like all these details about me. So I'm just glad that it took me through a flashback. I just want to correct two things. Uh, number one, that I am not uh, like, you know, someone who is guiding immatures. I just believe that I'm creating content or showing my life out for the ones who are really hungry. Because I still believe that I am immature as well. And each and every person who I've met, no matter how much they have achieved, are immatures in their life. One other. So, what I say, like whatever, whatever I do in my life, it's for the people who are really hungry and they really want to grow. And I just feel that it's my moral responsibility that if I am achieving any kind of success through maybe my failures or my successes or the right moves or the wrong moves, I just I should share it with people so that they don't make the same mistakes and they achieve uh, whatever they want to achieve much faster than uh, how I did or what I did. I have and number two. Yeah, number two. Okay, sorry for interrupting. And number two, uh, I want to say that I'm not a CEO of Shamani Industries. I'm I call myself the CGO, like the growth officer. I don't take care of the executive uh, or day-to-day -day operations and all of that. I just take care of the growth. What can I do today which will help me grow and my organization grow and all those 400 people who are working with us grow in an exponential manner. What can we do today? What experiments can we do today? What can we do differently? What should we do the same thing which have been working for us? So I believe that I'm a chief, chief growth officer, not the chief executive officer. But you know, I just wanted to say this before when you started the second point, uh, whatever content you're putting out and all is really helping. Like you're figuring out series on YouTube. It is just amazing. I, I've watched all three episodes, especially the one on Amazon and India Mart. So it gave me great ideas. Yeah. So, before I start off, so the audience may not know, what is Shamani Industries? So what do you do? What does Shamani Industries do? Uh, to primarily put it in one line or one to, to, one to two lines in short, it, Shamani Industries is dealing with modern day problems and we are providing modern day solutions. And what, what I mean by this is, we try to cater the most basic daily needs of a human being, which is washing your clothes, which is uh, washing your dishes after eating, or maybe it's about uh, just cleaning your toilets, or maybe disinfecting the environment, or maybe sanitizing your hands. Everything which is which you require on a day-to-day -day basis, which is daily needs, which is often overlooked by a lot of entrepreneurs in today's uh, era. Everybody is just focusing on the, on the tech or the digital education and all of that. We believe that we cater to modern day problems by providing modern day solutions in the fastest way possible. So every time we are trying to create a product, we just think about this one thing, like how can we make this process faster than the product which is already available in the market. So when I made my first dishwash gel, that's how the Shamani industry was started uh, with dishwash gel. My only goal was all the other dishwash gels which are present in the market. What can I do to cut down the what should I do differently? How can I improve my product in a way so that their time gets reduced? And that has been the foundation for creating every 
uh, fast moving consumer goods in our grain. So what is the story behind Shimani Industries? How did you like start it and all? Well, you started from scratch. So tell us about that. Yeah, every, like from the scratch and for all these stories, it's, it's already out there on the internet and I've, I've been talking about it pretty much everywhere. And uh, so how I want to put it differently was it started as a rage of a young person who wanted to prove himself. It started, so this entrepreneurial journey started as, uh, as my rage against my peers, my teachers, my cousins who were toppers and who expected me to get good marks and they thought that's the only way to succeed in life. And to show all those people who didn't give me a job when I applied to at least hundreds of companies, like I remember I applied in 70 companies, something like that, and they all rejected me. So it was a rage of a young boy to prove them that, you know what, even though I may not have the best grades, even though I may not uh, be one of the most brightest candidates who is applying for this job, but I am going to make a living out of the thing which I love to. And that is how Shamani Industries was started. And it all started with this one simple idea of making a dishwash gel. And I think you saw a YouTube video for it, right? Even that, for that, or you had some idea? Yeah, yeah. Not, not specifically. Uh, so I learned how to make a dishwash gel through YouTube. But my inspiration got, I don't know where did I get this inspiration from. So honestly, it, it was a mix of things. It was... It was maybe from my dad, from my mom, maybe because of my failing school grades or uh, entrepreneurs like Richard Branson, Gary Vee or Tony Robbins. I just don't know. It, it, was, it was a mix of all these things. But I learned how to make this formula through YouTube. And still today, even today, I am learning to make new products through YouTube. And they are working out exceptionally good. So I want to know, uh, what do you, what is, who is Raj Shamani in his purest form? Outside of all Rashamani of this. Is young, uh, Rashamani is this young boy like who is who's young at heart and who has big dreams. Like I am this one person who has enormous amount of like audacious goals. I have in, like my ambition is so big that I get fucking scared most of the time. And I'm this young guy who's like who has all these dreams and who don't know whether he'll be able to achieve those dreams or not. He doesn't know maybe he has all the talent, skill and the team or the money to achieve those dreams or not. But he has this one thing and that's grit, that's hunger. And that hunger makes him try new things every day and that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like every day I'm trying to figure out, I'm figuring out how to achieve those big dreams. And that's what I'm doing. That's what Rajamani is. Rajamani is all about figuring out. Rajamani is about figuring out how to achieve those big dreams who most of the guys of my age have. I have to add a part in that while trying to help other people in the same process, which is one of the greatest yeah. qualities. So I was... See, I, I truly believe like if, I, if I'm able to do it because I... So I'm, I suck, okay? Like, let's just get this... To the point I suck. I am the most ordinary average person you'll ever meet. I am not blessed with, let's just say, best looking hair or, uh, you know, wait, wait, wait. I just went like, bald. I just went bald. Like, <laughs> yeah, so I am ordinary as hell. Uh, who's, who's not born with a uh, immense amount of style or swag or, or with the uh, uh, Best grammar in the world, or the best speaking skills, or the or the immense amount of money with the family background. I'm just the average guy, and if I am able to figure out how to achieve dreams, like I'm living my dream life right now, I never imagined when I was 16. I never imagined like I'll be able to do this. I never thought that hundred thousand of people would be following me for the words I'm saying. Literally, it's it's a dream. To whatever I'm doing today, it's a dream. And if I can do it. I still think that I, I truly suck and I like I I don't know how all of this is happening. It's all happening because of the hunger I have. It's all happening because I'm trying to figure out everything. And that's why I'm trying to create content so that everybody who's watching right now should know that, you know, like you can do it. I mean it's if you have big dreams, you can do it. And if you don't have big dreams, you don't have to do it. You don't have to pressure yourself. Like it's there should be no pressure at all. Maybe if you like Rachamani or or Gary V or Richard Branson or Mukesh Amani, Try to become like that. If you like someone, uh, 
who is really comfortable, have a comfortable family of four people living in that couch, watching Netflix every night and sleeping with their babies. Do that. Do that. There's no pressure. Just, and that's, that's what I want to achieve. Like, that's what I want people to look, uh, look forward to. And they, that's what I want people to remember me for. Like, Raj is one guy who appreciates happiness and self-awareness over everything. I had actually saved this question for later, but you mentioned Gary Lee three or four times. So you've actually met him. I'm I'm this huge, huge, huge Gary Lee fan. So I just want to know everything about his experience. How you reached out to him and all that. Gary Vee is on the pedestal of entrepreneur, modern day entrepreneurship for us. Like it's yeah. Gary Vee has become this idol for all the people who are trying to uh, earn a few bucks or try to gain some fame over the over the internet. Gary Vee is like people are considering him as God because he has been doing immense amount of hard work and he's been acing the game. So, of course, it's, it's very normal for you, me or 10 people who we meet who are trying to create content, they must have got inspired by Gary Vee. Gary. And I was, I am the same guy, I told you, like just like every other person, I'm inspired by him as the same, at the same time. I've met him a couple of times. We have had a good chat. We have recorded podcasts together. We have spoken together at, on the same stage. We went on a dinner together and I think I still till date post this as one of my biggest achievements. I'm jealous of going you. Right on now. A dinner, like going on a dinner with this guy who you truly, truly admire and that guy giving you 30 minutes, just him and you one-on-one is, is out of the mind. It's, it's something I'm going to cherish for my life. So I want to come back I to my So actually, uh, I'm super jealous of you on that part. I have to say that. But coming back to the entrepreneurship part, so what has happened in our time is everybody thinks entrepreneurship is more about tech startups and all that stuff. So how can we get entrepreneurship as something simple? What would be your thoughts on that? Entrepreneurship is easy. Entrepreneurship is, I tell you, entrepreneurship is easy. You don't have, you don't need a hardcore definition or you don't need to complicate this process. It's very easy. It's, it's simple as fuck. It's like, you try to some, you try to solve some problem and you make money out of it. That's it. Easy as hell. If there's some problem which you see, maybe it's it's a problem which 10,000 people are already solving or maybe it's a problem which nobody is catering to. It's just about if you're able to solve a problem and then you're able to make money through that, that's entrepreneurship. Pure money. Like pure entrepreneurship. You're able to solve a problem. That means you're able to impact lives and you're impacting lives by making some money. That's entrepreneurship. And if you're not making money, and you're just uh, using that for the betterment of society. That's social entrepreneurship. That's it. That's, that's basically everything. You don't have to associate with tech or the big names in the industry or like all that crap. If you, if, if let's just say, if um, very simple, in your, you're at your home, you're not able to go out and a vegetable vendor on a, on a four cart, on a tailor gadi, he comes to your house and sells you vegetables and he's making five bucks out of it. That's entrepreneurship. That's pure bread, hardcore entrepreneurship. And it, it's that easy. Okay, so as I'm, uh, I don't know how this, this happened or no, I'm not sure. But I think as a side hustle, you sold stuff on Amazon. Yeah, I still do. That's not becoming my main hustle now. <laughs> So like, how much, how much Earth, you, tell me about that. I, I want to know more about it. A lot more. How can I do it? Earlier, I, when I, was, when I, was, I tell you as a side asset. So right now, it's a very different ball game because earlier, I was, when I was in college, I was selling other people's stuff, sourcing it from websites like India Mart and Alibaba and selling it on Amazon. And now what I'm doing is I'm trying to create a brand, an online brand of my own products and try to sell on Amazon or everywhere online, let's just say that. So we have, we have came up with this concept called Shamani products. Uh, that's the most unique name we could find off. <laughs> so, uh, we're just selling few products under that and trying to build a brand out of it. Now, so now the numbers and the ball game and the, and the marketing budget and the profits or maybe the expenses or the losses of the investment is going to be completely different than the side hustle, which you want to know. Trust me on this because it's, it's a different ball game when you try to build a brand versus when you're trying to sell some stuff to make some money. It's completely different. Though the platform is same, though it's pure entrepreneurship, though it's just selling stuff, sourcing stuff, 
it's completely different. But how do you build a brand on Amazon? Your question, to answer your question, how much did you make and all of that? When I was in college, I was selling mops. I remember, like, I was ordering mops from India Mart. There was a spin mop at that time. It was really new. Uh, I wish that this this side hustle was right now at the time of quarantine. I would have been a millionaire till now. <laughs> but uh, so at that time, it was very new, and people didn't know about it. So I I was basically sourcing that product, selling it online, Amazon at a two hundred twenty percent margin, and. Uh, I made around two to two point five lakh per month. One month I went up to five lakh as well, and then it started degrading. Like then I I stopped paying attention, so it went up to fifty thousand, sixty thousand a month, and then I stopped. So on an average, let's just say I did that for eight to nine months, and on an average, I made two to two point five lakh per month. That's a lot. So um, how do you and market? Would, well, and the best part about it, the best part about it, all I was. giving my like all i was investing was 2 hours of time a day that's it if i can invest 2 hours a day and get 2 lakhs at the end of the month i'm i'm ready to do that for the rest of my life but i want how do you market on amazon how do you build a brand on amazon cuz selling stuff i understood that part but i didn't understand how do you market it i don't know see i'm still on the figuring i'm still figuring out that like i i just started doing that for my brand insurance for my brand draw for my brand radu for my brand stroke uh, all these brands i just started uh, doing all of that on amazon so i really don't know what works and what doesn't work i don't know this online game i don't know whether selling from my own website is better or through amazon or snapdeal or flipkart or i have no clue literally no clue i am just starting out so how to build a brand online uh, in terms of selling on amazon i have no fucking clue maybe after 6 months or 1 year or 5 years we can have this conversation again and i'll give you some sense yeah we should meet we should have a, we should meet for dinner so when is it like so i uh, this in school i think uh, in school you were like torn down by people and told you would fail and all that stuff how do you break out from that mindset how did you open up and change completely cuz it gets a depressing environment two parts so the depression thing it has two parts into it okay one is self awareness that is stage number one when you have control in your hand so you see that everything is falling everything is getting fucked up and you're not getting respect which you want in your in your life because each and every individual each and every one of us we crave appreciation in our life that's bottom line for every human being we all crave compliments we all crave appreciation we all want to get appreciated for the work we do maybe in terms of fame maybe in terms of compliments or in terms of money but we all want that right so when you analyze that you're in stage 1 of the depression like you're just getting rejected by people you are not getting the kind of the kind of respect which you want the kind of appreciation which you want which you're looking for you analyze yourself then there are two conditions number one you either start doing something meaningful so that everyone around you starts respecting you over the time you have to be really patient and keep doing the good work for yourself and for the betterment of society or for the betterment of your family or your personal group that is case one or the case two you need to stop giving a f- that that's that's the simplest and the best way to deal with it stop giving a fuck about other people like expect having expectations is the root cause of depression that's what i believe uh, in just the first i'm just talking about the first stage like not talking about uh, when it gets really serious and it it has multiple uh, other things and mother multiple other causes as well i'm just talking about the root like the simple thing for all the young one up one up preneurs who want to make some bucks uh, expectations of how much i'm going to sell how much i'm going to get appreciated how many followers i'm going to get all of these expectations from other people and from the muck is the root cause for depression so you need to stop giving a fuck about other people and that's where you that's where you start you so either you do the most meaning and i tell you even if you do the most meaningful work in the pl- uh, on planet earth the best way is still to not give a fuck about people and that's the winning mindset my friend that's the winning mindset if you 
if you stop caring about opinions of other people trust me the the way you'll see world is going to be completely different completely different so was that like your moment of clarity was it, that's how you got clear yeah, yeah see yeah i wanted to i tell you okay i started all of this with the rage i wanted to be the youngest in the world for something i wanted to be the best in the world for something i wanted to be the highest paid in the world for something i got all three of them okay once i got all three of them i realized like now the game is not about proving other people i am only doing things which i really really enjoy i love talking to people that's why i'm talking to you right now and that's what i like and that's what i've been doing doing for living earlier for me the game was about putting regular content because i wanted to get followers now i don't want i'm not putting out regular content i'm not putting out anything which i don't want to say i'm not pressuring myself to do that because i don't want to i just want to do things which i really feel good about okay so you're an influencer what is an influencer in reality you're an influencer but we've seen a lot of fake false influencers out there who will rent out stuff and all that stuff take pictures and then they don't even own that stuff so what is an influencer in reality and how can we become one see i genuinely believe that uh if you are not living up to your authentic self if you're not the most organic version of you and trying to move people and trying to influence people to live that style then you're not an influencer in true sense like if you are yourself trying to get some stuff and show pretty good stuff online after after getting under the influence of some few people then i think you're wrong like you just got things wrong there you are seeing other people's life and trying to ape their life based on the things which you don't even have and trying to influence other people on that like you're technically trying to influence other people to live a fake life which you are live, trying to live and that's that's completely broken for me so the true influencer in my words is someone who's ex- who's accepted himself or herself online in the most on authentic way it even if it's about having the goddamn ferrari and then using that ferrari in the most authentic way that's influencing in real sense but not uh, if you don't even have a house and you're talking about business and getting financial freedom and all of that crap and you living on rent what kind of influence you are like what kind of in- influencer you are what are you trying to influence on and if you love let's just say if you love you know looking pretty if you love uh, doing good makeup if you love dressing up if you love showing out good content and you can do that and you do that in your daily life that's what you love doing and if you're showing out that in the form of content and that on that people are getting influence then that's the best thing just do whatever makes you happy and whatever you love doing then, then only you like then only you're an influencer so this just, is- you you are an influencer if you're putting out this life up front online like you're an influencer that way so it's not showing for stuff and just being the air who we are really so it's all about being authentic i mean people call themselves influencers uh i don't call myself influencer okay and because i am no one to call my i can't put myself a tag that i'm an influencer somebody who's getting influenced by me should put that tag on them. that you know raj is such an influencer he has immense amount of influence on my life and my life because of him i've been able to improve my life that the job of an influencer if you are able to influence people at large if you are able to influence people to bring out the best in themselves then you're the true guy then you're the true girl then you're the true influencer so you're a true influencer like, i just want to tell you so this is like wait this is short <laughs> this is short i'm not going to take it long so actually what i do is i've consumed a lot of youtube content from various people who i admire and what i do is i collect it in a hard disk which is i download their videos and also actually i'm folder raj shamani and i have all your youtube videos into that including voices with raj wow 
they are amazing wow wow i'm glad that you i i am able to you know have that kind of impact on people who don't even know me and that that's amazing so i'm glad thank you so much for this this means a lot okay. Okay, so I don't want to wait, take up much time, but for the last question, I really wanted to ask this for myself, which is how can we contact people? So you grew your contacts and connections in various ways. I have been working on that stuff. I reached out to you through LinkedIn, but I was thinking, how can I get better at it? LinkedIn, great con. See, in order to make connections, you need to give something to people. It's it's just a give and take relationship. Let's just be very clear. If you are giving me something, then I'll be interested in talking to you. And if I am giving something to you, you will be interested in talking to me. Okay? Like it's it's simple give and take relationship. And in the first, like at the first, when you start establishing a relationship, it's just give and take. Maybe on the later scale, you become really good friends, and it's all about just uh, having a good conversation or inspiring each other. All of that, like that's the later stage. For, but for first, it's a give and take relationship. So what are you giving to people? What are you giving? There are two ways to do that. Number one, you find out a specific person and you find out a specific thing which they're looking for and then you offer that. That's how you're going to get the attention of that person and that's how you'll be in a good contact. That's number one. And number two, you create so much content in your niche in the thing which you want to build con like connections in. Let's just say you want to build connection uh, in the field of a podcast okay so you you create content about how to podcast and the podcast and uh, community how to grow your podcast how to market your podcast what should a young podcaster do a struggle like struggles of podcaster all of that you create that content you put that up online and you keep doing that over the period of time you get get some attention if you're good at it and then people will notice you then they'll automatically get in touch with you because then you'll form a community of all the people who want to build podcasts and take that podcast to another level and that's how you build connections in that community so these are two simple ways both of them are really easy to do all you need is 1 minute a day just post that content or just do the research on the person who you really want to that's it that's the easiest and the simplest way you want i found a common in 16 year old raj and 16 year old ayush which is that we both use social media so you used to use social media to reach out to people and i used the same thing i use linkedin various platforms and mail and all that stuff and which is really cool and i'm you're an inspiration so i'm really hoping i can be someday where you are right now so definitely you'll be you keep doing the good work man like you don't even need to compare it with my level or anyone's level you will have your own level and no matter where you are you're still would be much better in few things than me or bill gates or any goddamn uh, like let's just say chef bezos or jerry v of the world like you're better than all of us in some or the other way and we are better than you in some or the other way so you don't need to uh, reach to my level or i don't need to reach to your level you just need to upgrade your own level every day and how do you do that it's by getting better today like fuck tomorrow fuck yesterday get better today all you need to do is give yourself 1 minute a day that's it 1 minute a day maybe use that 1 minute to reach out to people or to research about people or get better in your own self like improve that one skill or just create that 1 minute content every day trust me once you start doing that 1 minute a day 365 minutes in a year next year you'll automatically be doing in once you see the results next year automatically you'll be giving much more time to this and you'll be flawless and natural at okay raj so since you're short on time we conclude it so thank you so much for being a part of this um guys we'll be thank having so a part two we'll be definitely having a part two and raj definitely and we uh, before this any last advice to the viewers who are watching this the audience the number one advice i give in most of my podcasts and most of my speeches and most of the questions that when people ask me to give them advice is stop fucking seeking for advices <laughs> the number one advice is to stop seeking for advice and start the fucking work we all know what to do you know what to do i know what to do we all know where to find answers we know the people to reach out to we know the the places the websites to look up to we know fucking google we know what to do the thing is we don't execute it. 
Are you ready to work on it? Are you ready to act on it? Stop seeking for advice and start fucking work. Like most of the people, this is the biggest problem in the world that people right now are seeking for advice. If you want to get, let's just say, if you want to build six app packs, the first thing you will be doing is you will be seeking out advices from 10 different people who don't even have six apps. You fucking know already that you need to rest properly, eat properly and exercise every fucking day. That's what you need to do. That's the number one advice. Like that's start taking action. And it's just not, just not about six app packs. It's about business as well. What do you need to do about the business? Go find out ideas around you. Start working, start getting the money, start putting in the money in something and do it. You don't need advices. You, you want to become the biggest thing on internet? Start creating content. You know that already. You don't need my advice or anyone else's advice. So stop seeking for advice. This is the number one advice for each and everyone listening, watching or whatever, wherever, however you're consuming this content. Stop seeking for advice. That is the biggest advice you can take in your life, no matter how old are you. Maybe you're 15 year old, 13 year old or 50 year old. Stop fucking seeking for advice. Okay, Raj, thank you so much for being a part of this. This means a lot.